Hi everyone, welcome and welcome to the something new segment. This is where um, I'm going to introduce to you a new project or an idea that I think that no one else has done. Ever, ever, ever. At least I haven't seen anybody do um, something like this. So when you see the something new, like you do in my description there, if you see the something new in full caps and uh, exclamation point, you know you're in for a real treat. So make sure you keep a watch out for it. So today for the something new project is this. It looks like a journal, right? Well, it's not a journal. It's a book of sorts, but it's not a journal. It's not a fabric book. Not really. It is a fabric storage book. So if you've got like boxes and boxes of fabric like I do, and while you're looking for a piece of fabric, uh, and you just want a little piece, but you don't want to have to start pulling out all your boxes of fabric, you could reach for this book off of the shelf, and it's got samples of all your fabrics in here. It's got a big sheet of each. You can snip off a section that you want, and then simply fold up your book and put it back on your shelf, and voila so you can see how i've strung it right so i've done it tn style so i know for a fact nobody has has uh done this at least since the tns have come out um oops this is a little bit long i'll just cut this string off um yeah because i was making so many things and i was getting tired of you know, having to pull out bin after bin after bin looking for just, you know, if I want just a little piece of fabric. So I haven't finished decorating the outside or anything yet, but this is my storage book. And I'm going to show you another one that I also made for a friend. So this is kind of the idea. You have your signatures. So here we have uh, the first signature, same as you would do a journal but we're storing these sections of fabric, right? So then this is the middle. You can see where the string goes through. So you simply cut, you sort of measure your pieces and then cut your sections and then slide them through the string. So if you want the full piece, of course you can, you can pull out the whole piece, or if you want just a snippet off of it, take the piece that you want and then you still have the rest in your book. And then as you get a new bunch of fabrics or a new fabric, you simply add it, add a section of it to your book. So you can see this is my bridal satin there. Curtains, lots of curtains that I have. This is beautiful soft fabric. I kind of have a sample of lots of my curtains. I haven't finished all my fabrics either, so I might have to do a second one of these. So that's that signature, and then there's the signature, and they don't all have to be, you know, perfect sizes. If you only have smaller, you know, a smaller piece cut, it gives you an idea of what kind of fabrics you have in your bins. So if you have them labeled according to color, oh yeah, I want more of that color, then you just have to grab that bin. So, but otherwise, if I just want a piece of it, say I want to make a fabric postcard, uh, I might take a section off of this one, for example, and make a, a fabric postcard out of that instead of digging through and trying to find a fabric that's just right. I can take snippets of fabric from this book. So that's another signature. Oh, no, not quite see okay so that's another signature and then this is another signature I I don't have all the saris in here but I have a, a few that I thought you know I might want a little piece off of for something some of the jean material that had the little appliques on it oh. 
I think this is a little fun thing to do. And you don't have to do them this size. You could make them bigger. Or if you're gifting it for, say, a friend, you might want to make something that's half of this size uh, to gift to a friend, a little fabric snippet book. And you could still have it with the strings so they can add their own fabrics to them if they want to. So that's that signature right there. And then this is my last signature. You can organize them according to color or type of fabric or however you want to do them. Here I've got some of my linens and burlap here the back the country fabric and these are some sorry linings actually these blue ones yeah and there's strings more strings so that I can add more if I want to um, you know like it can hold more it can hold another good stack I would think it's not too heavy it seems to be just the right size. So I'll show you now one that I made for a friend. So don't think oh, I have a few more pieces of fabric I'm going to add to this one, but uh, it's pretty much how I want it. I decorated this one up a little bit better because it is going for a friend. So I was thinking, too, of putting a pocket on the inside for maybe some smaller pieces of fabric. If you have some real specialty fabrics that you, you don't have a whole lot of. Yeah. So I won't show you everything that I'm giving to the friend. I'll, I'll let it be for a surprise for her. But anyways, you can sort of see how how it works and there's not as many fabrics in here because I'm sure she has some of her own that she would want to put in here as well. So that is my fabric storage book for storing sections of fabric for snipping out pieces of when you don't want to be holding out all of your bins. You can have a couple of these sitting on your shelf and it can save you a lot of time. So I hope you like this. If you do, give me a thumbs up and uh, let me know what you think of it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time on Something New. Bye.